Hey friends, it's Fuller Farm coming back at you again with another update on the aquaponics. The tomatoes in here went crazy, so I've already had to take a couple out and put them outside. I'll show you those in a second here. Uh, but the strawberries produced some great tasting strawberries. You look over here, you can see there's still another batch growing on here. A bunch of cilantro here up front and little watermelons that'll go outside. But today we're actually going to try to catch one of our fish in here. Let's just open up the screen here. The water is still fairly clear. It's had its ups and downs while we get everything calibrated. We did lose our first rainbow trout. It is one that all of the, the fish had been attacking and biting at the tail and so we are down to 19 rainbow trout in here but they are very active. They're swimming in all levels of the tank, so the oxygen level's still doing great. Starting to really get big and start to look like a rainbow trout now, as you can see. Let's see if we can catch one of these guys. So this is kind of tricky. I'll probably try to edit some of this out, but I'm just trying to catch one of the bigger ones so we can compare the size. They're easy to catch, but it's not easiest to catch the one that you want. Okay, we got a pretty good sized one there. And it's jumping around. Now I found that it's a lot easier to hold these with a, a cloth. You could also use a glove as well. Oh, I have been actually taking these out once a week to measure. Just one a week to see how they're all doing. Whoa! It is slippery as snot. Hopefully you can see that okay on the video. Whoa, that is an active fish. We don't want to keep it out too long. Let's see if I can uncover it. I can kind of see the length. This is about the medium size in there. So let's go see how long it is. So to measure, I'm just going to hold it up here and you can see well, this one is just over 8 inches. I've pulled one out that's almost 9 inches already. They're getting big. Alright, we're going to put this guy back in. Alright. There you go, buddy. Alright, he's back in there swimming around. Like I said, there's one in there that's bigger than the rest that's almost nine inches. And we've had the, the rainbow trout two months now. So they were four to six inches, and now they are eight to nine inches. So awesome growth. The temperature is still doing great in here. Uh, we've had the temperature outside up to 85. And in here, you know, the temperature got pretty close to 70 it was probably 67 68 otherwise it has come up a little bit we're about uh, 65 degrees on most days one thing I have added is this little fan that's pointing right at our water closet or the aquaponics room and that air has definitely helped out with the temperatures just blowing in the water and moving the the air around in here since there is a little bit of heat that comes off of our our lights up here so that has definitely helped to uh, keep the temperature down probably a couple degrees just just with the air moving around but on this tomato plant you can see a couple tomatoes I have completely chopped this tomato because it was just going crazy up here on the roof um, so it was just too much for this space you can see this tomato is kind of skinny it's not getting light up on the top leaves so we've transferred some tomatoes outside as I'll show you in a second we also pulled a couple batches off of our lettuce plants that we had in here, the bib and the romaine. Uh, after that though, they kind of started to rot a little bit, so I've now pulled all the lettuces out and I think we will start over again with lettuce. So, you know, it's not bad. We got two batches of really good quality lettuce out of here. Here's the very first uh, tomato plant that we were growing in, in the aquaponics. And as you can see, it is going crazy. It got too big for in there. 
Uh, we pulled it out. You can see there's a lot of little baby cherry or jelly bean tomatoes that are growing on here. Uh, super healthy though, but we had to put it in this huge pot so that it could continue to grow. But have you ever seen such a giant and healthy tomato plant in the month of April in Ohio? So unless it comes from a greenhouse, you don't. So obviously this was started most of its life in aquaponics. Got a great start. It's a super healthy tomato plant.